nothing like enjoying some of your Java Mama coffee with a sounds gay I'm in cup. How do I get these things? Check the description box down below. This could be yours. Hi Crystal Balls, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video today. If this is your first time here, welcome. Please think about sticking around, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. Guys, it's the holiday season and I know a lot of us are broke. We can't do a lot. So if you want to still support your friends and your family, your local shops, and your friends that are definitely hustling out there, Go like, comment, share, and subscribe. Retweet, you know, share the videos, whatever the case may be, because that is a free way to help them out. And seriously, it's worth its weight in gold. So please do that, not just for myself, but for everybody else, because seriously, this goes a long way. And we all need a little push right now. Spread a little cheer, spread a little bit of good karma by doing that. Um, I'm thinking about doing a giveaway. Um, it would have to be the United States only, um, unless I can figure out another way to do it. Um, it won't be necessarily this cup, but because this, this is my biggest cup right now, it's sold out already. Um, so I might do some sort of fun giveaway for the holidays. We'll see. Um, Patreon, there will be something for Patreon that is going to be something completely different. So that's it for you guys on Patreon. If you have not joined that yet, go ahead and look down in the description box, follow that link and join Patreon. You can do as little as a dollar a month. And right now you can get an extra bonus from me as a thank you for joining Patreon at any level. So today I'm going to talk a little bit about how much this dog drives me nuts. The dogs are driving me nuts. So today we're going to talk a little bit about Michelle Duggar. Now, obviously, Josh Duggar is in the news right now for all the horrendous things that he has done. And, you know, it's kind of a big deal. It's a federal case. It's something that it's bad. It's completely bad. Um, I'm not going to go and talk about her life leading up to now because her life is literally everywhere. She has been on so many shows. It's been a special that started off and then it went to, you know, 14 kids and counting all the way to 19 kids and counting. It's a lot. However, I see this particular religion, this cult, it's a really freaking cult. I mean, the cult that they belong to really puts emphasis on males and male roles. And since Josh Duggar was the oldest boy, um, the name carrier, the first name carrier and everything else, um, of course, there's going to always be a lot of attention on him. And Michelle and Jim Bob have gotten Josh out of many pickles before and to the detriment of everybody they did it in the worst absolute way possible so as we sit now Josh Duggar is in court um I I don't I'm trying to remember the last update that I had and, and please forgive me I don't remember um I know that they are allowing, as of this upload, this can change, they are allowing um, the instances of him abusing his sisters and the babysitter into evidence as showing a pattern of abuse and um, basically a precursor to the things that he is in jail for right now. Um, well, that is tragic and very difficult for 
the girls to have that trauma brought up again. They were never really given any sort of help or counseling for it. Um, most likely they were blamed for it because um, of their cult practices and how women are supposed to look and act. And if the act happens, it does say in some of their learned books that um, it is the female's fault because she dressed too scandalous or she said no. Um, that's another thing that um, Michelle Drucker preaches is being joyfully available to your husband. Meaning you give it up whenever he wants it. Even if you don't want to. How abusive is that against a woman? And then have a woman to turn around and preach this. Well, she was groomed. So we know that Michelle had quite a different life before she married Jim Bob. Um, she was a cheerleader. She um, wasn't super religious. She yada, yada, yada. But when she married Jim Bob at a very young age, he literally groomed her to be the mother that, and the woman that she is now. And I have no idea why this woman is held in such high esteem. She has chosen to silence her voice at quite a long time ago. Where she used to raise her voice. Obviously, she still does. Actually, there's been many, many, many videos of her uh, not being the whispery, soft-spoken woman and actually yelling at her kids. So it's a bunch of BS anyway. I know reality shows are BS, but um, the amount of BS that the Duggar family puts out is quite disgusting. So here's Michelle Duggar pretending to be something that she's not, which is a joyfully obedient woman who just worships the husband and does whatever she's told and is available to him at all times and doesn't raise her voice. And it's, it's all facade. It's all for show. I have a problem with both Michelle and Jim Bob because people seem to think that they are some sort of glorious, godly couple when all they have done is raise miniature versions of themselves who are isolated and have no idea really about the outside world and refuse to pay them so they would have to be able to depend on mom and dad, even though these kids were forced to work. And Jim Bob, Jim Bob, the asshole that he is, said that this was all volunteer work for ministry for the children. He got millions of dollars, but his kids got shit. And they had to beg, and there's still people in the family doing lawsuits and things like that in order to get the money that they should have been paid. These kids were in child labor. Guess what that is, guys? Trafficking. He trafficked his own children. Michelle trafficked her own children. So the fact that Josh Duggar is in this world shouldn't be that much of a leap. I submit to you that... Michelle Duggar is just as guilty because she was groomed. She groomed her children. She turned her freaking blind eye to everything that was happening. And yes, there's a point that you as a parent can't do anything for your child. I don't think she exhausted any options to help him outside of what is in their cult. And do I think she's brainwashed? I don't know. Um, but I don't think she's a very intelligent person, unfortunately, who was swayed by a man who she's still connected with today. And if they were to ever separate, it would have, you know, I, I don't know how she would survive because she has to have 
a man to completely depend on because she doesn't work outside the home. And uh, no judgment on people who have that arrangement in their lives. That's great. You do you. But I'm talking about having an abundance of children that you have in a reality show and you're part of a cult. And you're, you know, look what's happened. They have many, many of their, their children that they have neglected and abused by using them not only to parent their children, but also to volunteer them for work hours that were filming, 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 even when they didn't want to for missionary instances and didn't pay them for shit. So these kids grew up on camera and these kids were groomed just like Michelle was. And Michelle perpetuated her growth into this religion, this cult, and passed it along to her children. And now you're seeing more than ever many of these kids starting to come out of it, which is great. And yes, this is a cult, guys. I don't want to go back and forth of this being a religion or a cult. This is definitely a cult. And it is a dangerous thing and it's disgusting and it's vile. But I want to know, Michelle Dogger, um, what was your involvement in this whole situation? So, Michelle, dear Michelle, did you know about Josh before anything was ever reported? Did you have your suspicions? Whoa, cold as ice. So, yes, this looks like to me, this is Michelle Duggar. This represents Michelle Duggar here. This is, she's cold, man. This is all about money. This is all about, I mean, she's got a cold, dead heart. I'm not lying here. This is something that I see of her that is, look, this is her and her branched out children and everything like that, but she is the base and she is really cold. So she really put that coldness out, but I like to see that the branches are starting to thaw off except this one, which would be the original children, the oldest children. And there's a lot of snow here. So that tells me that there was a lot of indoctrin and a lot of bullshit that happened at this point. Um, but I want to say that Michelle was all about the almighty dollar, definitely. And she is a cold individual. Cold, cold, cold. Let's just see where this goes. Um, God. I like the re religious symbology in this because this is a dove. And um, this is the Ten of Swords, which is honestly one of my favorite cards. Um, but the Ten of Swords is really interesting. Okay, Ten. So... She feels like <laughs> a number of her children owe her and they are currently backstabbing her. Um, I could say it's probably 10 of her children that are fighting back. And this is something that has been happening, you know, since this whole debacle of Josh started. So they are fighting back. They are stabbing her. But this is also something that Michelle did to herself. She stabbed out any of the values that she actually had and replaced them with other things. But she replaced it at a weak moment. She was not in a moment where this was logical or sane. She really, really, really killed parts of herself in order to be the woman that she is today. She's cold. And the Ace of Cups. Now, the Ace of Cups is one of the luckiest cards in the deck, but this tells me a little bit something different. This is usually like the cup runneth over, um, or the cup runneth, runneth over, uh, usually indicates 
wealth and good things happening. To me, it's murky. This is murky for her because, oh, I don't even want to say it. The road that, the road to her success in life was, there's no way for me to say this. So I'm just going to leave this to your imagination and put man in there and see what you come up with. But I, I can't say it out loud here um, that this is the road to her success. And because this was a road to her success, I don't think she uh, would reject the deviant things that her son would do, her precious boy. Mm. So sword play, this is the nine of swords with, um, I think this is a crow or no, that's uh, what it's called. Freaking birds. Um, I don't like them. They're scary. Um, <coughs> is it crows? It's not a crow. I can't think of the, anyway, I'm rambling here. So what you have is a death bird. This is a bird that goes and pecks out people's eyeballs and picks, pecks out, you know, the entrails and things after someone has died. Uh, I, Michelle's picking things. Like, she picks at people. Um, I would almost say that she picks at people's weaknesses, but it would be specifically her children. Um, notice how the number has gone from 10 to 9. She picked one and so much so that they backed off. So this was one, this is a different point in her timeline. So this is when she was in charge and she was in charge of the pecking order, so to speak. And um, this is when she... Uh, she had the upper hand at this point. The next card we have is the Empress. So the Empress is the female head, um, which makes sense. She was the female head of the household. But look at the color of this rose. It's very straught. It's very overgrown. It's not, it's not healthy. It really isn't. It's about ready to wither and die. So what this is cards, what everything has been telling me. What all of these cards have been telling me so far is she's losing her grip on reality and she's losing her grip on her family and she is no longer the empress anymore. Um, her family has branched out into three and it's like the adult kids living on their own, the young children that are still within the home and then Michelle, Jim, Bob and Josh. You would never see the parents go to bat for any of the girls like this ever. I mean, that's been proven over and over again. Um, I know they're sort of trying to distance themselves, but at the same time, the damage has already been done, especially since you completely supported Josh through everything that he did that was proven to be true when he was a child. Um, God, this is sick. So this is how the family has branched out and splintered. So, um, they definitely, sorry, I moved my head and it's light outside. Um, they definitely chose Josh. Definitely. Um, the magician, um, the magician is usually my favorite card in the deck, but, um, this is very particular because these are the eyes. I know this is like a moth. She, it, it, look at all the symbology here. This has everything in it. Eternity, cups, 
swords, pentacles, um, wands. This is the embodiment of everything. So the embodiment of everything in this position right now is at the stage of this. A mother who sees all and will internally threaten. She definitely has her own magic, meaning she can spin bullshit and she believes it. And this mother is going to protect her children, her boy children, her Josh, because he's the one that gives the most money. He's the, he's the one. He's the one that's supposed to carry on everything. God, that's sick. Um, she is a fool. I believe this wholeheartedly. I, I don't think she's intelligent, and that's really sad. Um, she's begging for forgiveness. She's asking for a peace offering that is too late. <laughs> Her peace offering, her her wanting help, her trying to backtrack, it's too late. She is a fool. It is too late. And the peace offering that she would outstretch her hands for, it is too little. There is nothing she can do to undo the damage that she did. To her children, her girl children, when they were little. She is a fool. Kind of disgusting fool. Um, we're going to end with this one because the video is quite long and the dogs are barking. It's amazing to see three phases of birds here. So there was the stabbing of the dove. There was the, the vulture on top of the swords and now the swords are going back into the vulture so this is fighting back these kids are fighting back um <coughs> i think they've probably fought back for a long time in their own little ways but uh michelle crushed them over and over and over and over again she's a lot crueler than what anybody seems to realize and quite frankly she is not a good person her heart is very cold. She is very calculating and manipulative because she was groomed to be that way. And then she groomed her children to be that way too. And didn't expect any fallback, but they're all, they're fighting back and with good reason. And I hope that these kids continue to fight back against their patriarchy and their matriarchy and the system that raised them, which was abuse and was cult and this horrible person that happened to share blood with them as their brother. Fight back. Keep fighting back, girls. And I know that your journey may be brought up in trial. And I know that is a vast violation of a trauma that you will never given the opportunity to even talk about seemingly, but you never got to work out your trauma. And I am so sorry. That is unfair. And it is unfair that this is going to be used in order to establish a pattern for your stupid brother, Josh. But your sacrifice here by having your stories told is going to help in the long run. And I am so sorry for you all to be in that position because I believe you're going to be subpoenaed and have to talk about it. But just remember that you may be saving one child by doing that. You never should have been in the position that you were before. It happened. Nobody helped you. And I am sorry. And now that you are older and your brother has done some really horrific things, you shouldn't be in the position that you are now to where your trauma has to be brought up 
public publicly but it might save a child and we know that this isn't a one-time offense at all Josh Duggar knew exactly what he was doing and I think his parents knew too and I hold them just as accountable so my thoughts and prayers are with the girls who were abused and the children that Josh Duggar abused with his videos his distribution of them his sharing whatever else the case may be and all of the things between here and here that happened because trust me there's more so I'm gonna close the book on Michelle Duggar and say that she's evil and vile and she can go up a river you shouldn't have been a parent if you could not handle being a parent and allowing your children to live in an unsafe environment with their abuser and then make those children raise your children, you never should have been a parent. The blame is partially on you. You can't put all the blame on the parents because at some point Josh is an adult and does stuff himself but they learned from you and your excuses all right everybody I'm gonna end the video here I hope you enjoyed this reading and leave your comments down below please be kind and I will talk to you guys later remember every single day is a gift use your time wisely I'll see you on the next one bye for now